That's why this person needs to be protected. Because this, this is not the end, end of the story. To some, unfortunately, it's a matter of hours. And that is same saying, it's not today. It's a matter of hours. Within a day, there can be three seconds of hours. Many times the father offers the excuse that he is caught carried away and did realize what he was doing. However, it is important to realize that the father does not have his way to his boss, his work colleagues, or to his church friends. He has learned that the family is a safe place to exercise violence. He chooses his victims consciously and selectively. He even selects the type of abuse he will inflict. He also selects the parts of the body that are least likely to reveal his violent behavior. So the beating, the beating takes place where he knows that when my wife dresses up, no one will be able to see that I painting. That's why it has been known to say abuse and violence is actually planned. There's nothing, like, there's nothing like I got carried away. Why doesn't he get carried away with his boss? Or maybe at church, why doesn't he get carried away at church? He knows that they will discipline him. But he has chosen the weak type of if nothing is done about family violence, it escalates rather than abets. If we are in experience about family violence, okay, I think we talked about this. Now, the only answer to family violence is intervention. Caring people, particularly those with a Christian commitment, need to help stop the violence. At times we don't want to take action for fear tomorrow they may take us to court, right? I remember at one time in my country it was even difficult for people to reveal that they found a dead body because the police, when they come to investigate, the question is, how did you see that? How did you know there was a corpse there? Now the questions come to you, instead you are helping, trying to help. So one time we were supposed in the mission center, we were doing home in Malawi, we call it uh, Jesus Way. No, we were visiting in the homes. So, a group came to my house. We were planning to go to a place where we were going to have Wednesday prayers. When we approached the house, it was closed but halfway open. We knocked, we knocked that and it was me knocking as the pastor. And it was our Then we were about to go. We, you know, when you see the house is open, then you look around to people to say, are people here or not? And through the windows, people were saying, they are there, they are open. They are open. It was unfortunate to find our brother was already dead. We went, we went to worship on Wednesday. 
So what I'm trying to say is, uh, even when you see that there is abuse and violence in that home, try to be refrain, say, hey, where do I begin from? According to our church, that we say we need to intervene. We have been given a responsibility. Caring people, particularly those with a Christian commitment, need to help stop the violence. We must be aware of the spiral of family violence, which has a link between generations. Because it has been tolerated, now it's spilling, it's going on, on, and on in the family. In other words, the pattern of violence is passed on from one family to the next. Abusers have been read in homes in which they themselves have been abused. Or in which they have regularly observed abuse upon another family Abuse and violence are the usual routine response, responses to frustration, anger, stress, and feelings of powerlessness and low self-esteem. Children, children growing up in these homes hate this environment. Yet when they establish homes of their own, there is a strong tendency to follow the same pattern. Because violence in their home was not stopped. And so violence spirals from one generation to the next. Abusers have been reared in homes in which to okay. There was a reputation, sorry. Influences outside the family that favor violence transmission from one generation to the next. So we are looking at influences that lead to violence and abuse to continue. Number one, misunderstanding of age. Remember the term that I used to say she must be taught a lesson. Or he must be taught a lesson. I wanted to take some pictures from the internet, but then I realized they were too scared, so I left it. But one of them I found it was a woman. The husband was literally crying. Ah! The woman was pulling the ear and slapping. So abuse can actually come from women to their husbands. And some husbands who don't want to hit back. So the woman takes advantage. There was a cartoon in my home at one time. So I like referring to my home because I'm telling you stories that I saw, right? This idea of change now, gender equality, that has come. <laughs> and the cartoon showed a big woman, well dressed, well to do, with a big car, the door open that she's about to go. And then she's coming out of the house, literally throwing up because the husband was not waking. The husband was not working. And then she was saying, throwing money. That money, you have to go to the market. I must find that you have two money. <laughs> and you could see the man, you know, busy, beating the money before he took off to the ground. <laughs> so some abuse. Yet she, in some certain quarters, has gone from the man to the woman. Bad after all, I must change the tune. <laughs> 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 
Alright? So misunderstanding helps you. In inadequate preparation for parenting. Violence regularized, regularized by the media. That's why in publishing we have books like 10 volume books which uh, uh, show how we can distract our children from watching television every hour that they must concentrate on spiritual books. I know Mama Yanela is now saying, but pastor, those books are not available. Mama Yanela is not available. No, we have a few group content, so I think they will send it as a few quite strong. And then because of substance abuse, when you are under the influence of drugs, you cannot think properly. So it also aggravates violence. No intervention in cases of abuse. So abusers don't see anything wrong with what they are doing. Improper lifestyle and diet. See, before I became Adventist, I liked eating meat. By the way, I stopped. 1995. Before that, I used to eat a lot of meat. And I liked putting a lot of spices. So, my last born son, the one I'm staying with now, he was telling his sister. That likes putting a lot of spice to his meat so that he can be angry. To him, the bitterness of the spices meant making somebody very angry. So here, what we are saying is uh, some foods. They can make people have the tendency of violence. You know the lion? What is the main food of a lion? Meat. That's why a lion is so angry. So if you want to be angry and abusive and violent, then my meat a lot of meat. But if you don't want to be violent and abusive, reduce the intake of meat. And eat a lot of vegetables. You know, even plants can recognize violence. In 1995, I was amongst the group that went to Kenya for Bible conference. And one topic we were dealing with was music in the church. And a researcher made a research that listening to pop music most of the time makes you more violent. So we are talking about things, even if you are not violent yourself or most of the time abusive, certain lifestyles can turn you into a violent person. So the research showed that they planted beans and they did not give it enough light. Certain beans were planted and they brought a music, pop music, 80 watts megabytes of sound in one bed. In the other bed, of music is because of the place of God, but spiritual music. Listen to this fighting, what they found. The plants that were close to the pop 
sound we are growing away from the sound. This child and this plant we speak is part two and is two. This could have got a fruit bigger than the part we speak is. Plants. They could feel the violence of the sound. It was too loud. Let's start with the paper now. Go into it. And the plants that were put close to the spiritual music, they were growing towards the music. Who can this child and this plant be so irritating? This is about the woman. That time we were looking at the music in the church because many people were bringing pop music in the church. So we can see that nature itself can tell that there is violence and there are certain things in nature which can make us violent and abusive. That's why in proper lifestyle and diet we must remember, one day, we must come on a Sunday, we come and display and show you the plants and the foods that can make you very violent. The fallout from family violence is destructive and widespread. Many children grow up, uh, will grow up and able to build lasting or satisfactory relationships. Others who experience marital dysfunction and sexual problems, including promiscuity and prostitution. These are some of the results of violence and abuse in the family. Others who have mental and physical illness, thoughts, thoughts or attempts of suicide, and in some cases, homicide. That's what behavior, violent behavior. <laughs> the sparrow is hated and abated by other circumstances. Among them, <laughs> violence in the media which glorifies the violence and abuse. Inadequate parental training. They think the only way to solve problems is by hitting each other. And the other reason is there is a lack of community. No formed caring networks to help each other. This is very important. Caring networks. We may not form care networks, but the change automatically is a care network. But the question is, have we put in place a mechanism that we can care for the abuse? No neighborhood bonding to alleviate each other's stresses and promote And then actually when we are doing some study, uh, like it at a bishop, he talks much about Ubuntu. Ubuntu means networks, alright? Because we as blacks, in the village, or even at the place where I stay in my community, a child might not be a child. But for as long as I know that this child comes from my village, if I find other people greeting the child of my village, even if that child is not mine, Neighborhood, there must be that feeling of belongingness, you know, being together, 
So when the Lord is wrong, the Lord is wrong. Each person in the community, if he needs to be held, he should know that he's going to be accountable. Because drugs and alcoholism contribute to family violence. Is Removing the Egyptians that meant otherwise more violence in each other at times. Drugs and alcoholism, they contribute to family violence. Removing Egyptians that meant otherwise more violence in each other at times. But in fact, family violence lies even without substance. Remember we said even neglect is what? Quietness to experience is also abusive. That's why 
The other fourteen break the prayer. <coughs> Said they change our church. Yes, it must put abusive families as a priority. Victim must learn that taking action and getting help is not breaking up the family. No as well. as of we must encourage people that when you are being victimized, being abused, take action. By taking action, you are not breaking your family. And so if people are going to start reporting because they are being abused, that means the church members and the leaders must know how to deal they must, the victims must realize that by taking action is essential for healing and for the origin for healing for the origin of the family. They, they must not think that they are breaking the family. Because the family is already broken. They are not the ones who broke and break it. The broken the family is already broken But taking action and reporting is actually the process of healing. This education must go beyond men act upon you. Such as, such as waiting. So, well, that's their family business. We have nothing to do. The family members don't take that. Business. But churches, schools, schools, and schools must have programs that are led everywhere. I got this information from the recommendations made by our church and are confirmed by the general conference. So by our church taking action, helping the needy, we are not being enough. Intervention going first to the which is the violence stage. There is need for outside help, which is essential. For assurance of support, for providing a haven that the church community and friends can provide. Because when a woman or a child reports, it means when the child goes back, the father will say, ah, you reported me now, get out of my house. That's why some people do not even take action because they know if they are just out of the house, where will they go? So a church must not be put up as a place of protection for the Violent incident must be reported to the police. Medical care to medical caregivers, the clergy, teachers, and friends. All these are encouraged to take up the matter once the report is given to them. Abuse does not stop by itself. Someone or some power must authoritatively say no to the uh, to say to the abuser, stop. We will not allow us. Victims must be warned to leave and not to be turned back until someone with appropriate knowledge and authority has evaluated the situation and feels itself for the family to the 
My only hope of life in this world is Him. If a church had a woman for such a person, could she have stayed there? So the church was well. Therapy must be taken. It should include individual group and family sessions. If I identify the need I myself, remember Matthew, is it Matthew chapter 18? Jesus says, if you see there's something wrong, before you tell someone else, I go back to the person. One to one. In a non-judgmental way. As a group, and as family sessions, you see, if we identify that in our church, uh, these are some of the strategies, there is some kind of abuse that people don't want to be pointed out. We can formulate something in a way that even the victims are found in the families. It's like we are just conducting family seminars, a group of families, a group of families, a group of families. Talk about abuse, how can we overcome it? In that way, those people can feel, oh, so this is how we can go about it. Short time therapy does not bring about effective healing. It's like counseling. People will never tell you the truth the first time you meet for counseling. People will start telling you the truth of what is going on after they have developed trust in you. That's why it must take place over a period of time, months, perhaps even years. While this is going on, the extended family, friends, clergy, schools, all must take part in providing assistance and support that may be necessary. Here's something which is supported even by the Bible. It says, at a time of separation, if deemed necessary, from the family while there is going on, will have the effect of making the abuser or consider the unacceptability of his or her behavior. In a way that is looking for the minds and the values. There is still some material to go on, but I'm sensitive that I think I'm giving too much of It's a high time if we ask some questions and if we get to get some contributions. But this was some kind of simply highlighting the need for this church. Let's not wait for that church. For this church to put in place mechanisms.
inside the Armenian. In the hands that they put preservatives. And those preservatives they melt off or dissolve the Armenian. And when we drink, and when we drink, the Armenian goes straight to the grave. And it causes schizophrenia. Madness. Fine, you know you've seen these Armenian pots even when you boil water. Where the water ended up, what happens? There is a line. The Armenian has been dissolving and we drink with it and it goes to the And when it goes to the brain, it disturbs the function of the brain and becomes a Fish, I like fish. In chance. Because I don't eat meat, I don't eat chicken. But the only meat I eat is the, the, the fish. Eating too much fish, fish has uh, mercury in it. And mercury goes to the brain fat. And can cause schizophrenia and other brain disturbances. Yes, yes. So, as much as Mama Zimbabwe uh, has said, I think Mama just said that.